Hey, good morning, y'all. I'm on my way to Tampa to go to the meat store to buy my meats for the month. Um, I use meat markets to go do my meat shopping. Okay, so I'm here at the meat store now. I just parked. I'm about to go in and see what their price is looking like. Somebody told me this is a really good meat store, so I'm gonna ditch my old one for this one. Maybe. Let's see how it goes first. I am now leaving the meat store. I spent $1.89. I'll show you what I got when I get home and how I bag it to put it in my freezer. Alright, so I'm home now. I'm going to show you what we got and let you know the total price for everything. Okay, so I got some ground beef, 75% lean. Um, this is 12 pounds. Okay, they had their ribeyes, buy one, get one free. This was a five pound bag of hash browns for four seventy nine. We got some, it says curry chicken. She told me it's cut up chicken thighs. I bought it since I won't have to cut it up when I make some curry. I'll go ahead and make some of that this week. I got some pork chops. It's a little over six pounds. The chicken thighs were bogo. Um, I got these because I like to make brown stew chicken and I like to use these and pull the skin off before I cook them. Um, this is right up under 10 pounds. I got drumsticks. They were buy one, get one free. So 10 pounds for $9.90. And I actually like these because they are not huge. The other store that I used to go to would sell me these big ass <laughs> things. And I hated those big ass drumsticks. They'd be real big and I didn't like that. Okay. So over here, I got a lasagna that they have. They sell it. Tells you how to cook it. I'm gonna give it a try. I mean, the kids will eat this one day next week. And I'll get like some Texas toast, some garlic bread sticks or something to go with it. And this was 70, uh, $74.90. They normally do this, it's a half a case, so it's only 20 pounds of whole chicken wing. I know that's a lot, that is very expensive. That's 20 pounds. Um, but chicken, the price of wings have gone up. The price of a lot of meats have gone up lately. Because I recently went to Walmart to look for um, whole chicken wings. We wanted to put some on the grill. We could not find any chicken wings for nothing. <laughs> they had everything except whole chicken wings. So when I went to save a lot one day, I saw they had a pack. It, it was expensive, about 12 pieces of chicken in it, but it was like 16 bucks. But I went ahead and bought the half a case today, the 20 pounds, so I could freeze some and we'll have it for when I'm, I'm ready to fry, fry some and do whatever I want to do with it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this stored away. This is how I store my food, my meat then. I, use, I buy these freezer bags from Walgreens. They have them buy one, get two free. Um, they have different sizes and different types. They have zip, regular Ziploc bags and things. But you get three of them for two seventy nine. So I normally get these, and this is how I store my meat. Hamburger. Hamburger. You like hamburger? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this meat separated and put into bag so that I can freeze it. These are the perfect size. <laughs> Usually these, this part be so fat and big, it just look unreal. Probably some steroid chicken I'd be eating. <laughs> look at this little one. It's a baby. <laughs> oh. All right, I got the meat bagged up. This was about 12 pounds of ground beef. I separated it evenly or as even as I can by trying to guess the weight by lifting it because I don't have a kitchen scale. But I got four bags out of it, so it should be around a little over three pounds in each bag. The drumsticks, I got four bags. Uh, I write the number of pieces in each bag. Pork chops, so I just got two bags. Now, chicken wings. Um, just 
eight pieces in each bag and I have six bags. Okay, and this is how I pack everything in the freezer. Just basically set the bags in there and push them all back. for this turkey it's gonna go have to go in a deep freezer in the garage okay so now i have finished my meat order for the month this should last a month if not i'll buy some meat packets here and there just to get through the month now comment below let me know if you guys go to meat markets or if you go to stores like Publix and one dixie and things like that to buy your meat let me know